He's a bitter man. <laughs> And Lossie, Lossie Lee was good. Lossie Lee was the best one. So was she. Lossie was good Friday. <laughs> always a highlight. I was Thursday, Thursday yeah, 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 Thursday. Yeah, Lossie always was Thursday. Always a pleasure yeah. to have Lossie. How are you doing? Here we go. This is a lot better. Bush, bush fist. The garden's going on here. So, um, bush fist <laughs> is a celebration of, of comedy. Comedy is a, is a broad. A broad church, lady and uh, uh, the next act has been here pretty much from when we, we started. Uh, and he is an agent. He's one of the reasons we do this type of thing. Uh, for people who haven't seen him before, you're in for a treat. You're in for something. You're in for um, you're right, you're right. you're generally in for something, lady gentlemen. So uh, so can we have the biggest uh, bush welcome we, we've ever heard, lady gentlemen? Go wild and crazy, Lozzy Lee. <laughs> Jimmy Savile. <laughs> 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 Mike Rowe has gone down quicker than he's. <laughs> but that's another set, that's not for tonight. Good evening, you Holly Bush. Peace, man. Love you all, man. Peace. Uh, you know, a funny thing happened to me a few months ago. I was walking home through Aston when this unexploded bomb, World War II bomb, went off. Boom. Uh, look what it bloomin' did to me here. I ain't been able to do anything with it since. Uh, not only did it make a mess of my hair. Oh, there you are. I can't see what these glasses are. Not only did it make a mess of my hair, it blew my shoes off. So I've had to buy these shoes. Uh, no. Do you like my new shoes? Uh, I bought them off a couple of uh, druggies, Ant and Dick. Uh, uh, but, um, uh, but ever since I bought them, I don't know what they've raised them with, but I've been tripping all day. That's been, I can see you now. Huh? Uh, but, um, you know, the, have you seen the Saturday show, uh, that Saturday night takeaway? They've, they've set up a special hotline now. You ring up, you can say, win or buy some marijuana. Just press the Husky. Oh, that was especially for the lads up the back. Where are you still? Oh, hey. hey, man, peace, man, peace. Oh, <laughs> Hey man, that's better. Uh, please, yeah, hey man. Oh, just before so, I'd like to point out. <laughs> I can't keep this position for long. Keep laughing, please. Uh, now, I'd just like to point out that, hey man, peace is a very fickle thing. All it takes is one flick of the wrist and it's gone. <laughs> peace, man. Uh, but uh, you know the biggest perpetrators against peace is these, B these people from BGT. Now, I don't mean Britain's got talent. I mean these bleeding gobshot terrorists and politicians. But um, they're like waving the flag of war in our faces, aren't they? Uh -huh. Yeah, we want war, we want war. Well, the best thing we can do to fight back is to take the piss out of them. Are you up for taking the piss out of these BGT terrorists? Yeah. Yes! Thank goodness for that, because my act would be ruined otherwise. <laughs> um, you know, um, do you know what colour eyes a suicide bomber has got? Dead. Well, he's dead. They are dead. Yes, I like that. <laughs> that's, blue. That, that, that's going. They are blue. One blue to the left, one blue to the right. Hey! hey. <laughs> How can you tell when you have the doctors? Uh, the guy in front of you with the hiccups is a suicide bomber. He kick, kick, boom. He kick, kick, boom. <laughs> oh. Uh, I've just blown myself off track now. <laughs> oh, what you call a terrorist virgin? Never been laid on. Uh, that's one of my favourite jokes, that is. What about you, missus? You ever been laid on? No, no. What about you? Have you ever been laid on? No. Uh, well, Hannah. Uh, <laughs> you know when you're at home, you're making mad, passionate love. What's the last thing you want to hear? Hi, honey, I'm home. <laughs> oh, will you stop laughing? You're putting me off. I don't know what to do now. I'm not used to this. Um, 
Oh, what was the last one I've just done? Oh, hi, Liam Ho. Oh, yes. Oh, there's oh, 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 cats, isn't it? Cat, how can you tell when a fella is well hung? He's got a rope round his neck. Oh, have you seen my yak before? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, I did you know it. Yes, you can't get your fingers between his nose and the neck. Oh, and there you go, here you go, that's brilliant. Get a bit of laugh than what I do anyway. <laughs> how, do you make, how do you make a band limp? You put a stone in the shoe. But I tell you, um, oh, at the moment, like, we've got a Hong Parliament, haven't we? Ah, uh, you see the little connection there to uh, Hong Parliament, political stuff. So we have. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, I think all these parliaments should be hung. Especially that one there at the moment. What's her name? Uh, Thatcher's twin. Um... Theresa May. Th that's the one. Th Despicable May, I call her. Despicable May. Uh, she's got a film out now, hasn't she? Despicable May. Uh, but she's trying her best to go, like, get somebody to team up with her. I think it would make a perfect team if Theresa May and Jeremy Corbyn. Jeremy Corbyn was to team up together, but not in the politics, in a remake of Blasted of Summer Wine as Compo and Norma Batty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, one of the biggest perpetrators against peace is that BGT, that big gobshite Trump. And you know, Donald Trump, uh, he's got the right name, hasn't he, Donald Trump's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I did one out in the corridor. Sorry about that, Anna. That was it. Uh, oh. uh, but uh, here's a quick impersonation of Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think he looks constipated? <laughs> Not only does he look constipated, he looks like a twat as well. But Donald Trump goes to the doctors, would have told him, he said. The doctor says, my, that's an ugly looking growth you got there. The doctor, yeah, it started off as a pimple on, on my backside. <laughs> but, um, got a little poem for you from Frank Spencer. Mm -hmm. Good evening, everybody. Mm -hmm. Is Frankie here from some of us do have him? A lot of you are thinking, who the basis is this? Well, this is from the 70s, so it's a time lapse thing. Mm -hmm. There was a young man called Donald. Some people wish he'd never been born. He worked in a bee. If his father had seen that the end of his candle was torn. Hmm, hmm. That's an awful one, isn't it? Hmm, hmm, hmm. These condoms aren't very safe, are they? My mate was wearing a condom and he got hit by a bus. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, Donald Trump, it only takes one flick. Donald Trump, I'll do this. And he turns into Tony Blair. <laughs> Let me get your mouth locked. <laughs> Donald Trump. Flick at the wrist. <laughs> Hi guys, Tony here. Tony Blair. I used to be uh, Prime Minister of your once great country, but now I'm uh, being sponsored by Dad's Super Toothpaste. Gives you that extra cheesy green. <laughs> and uh, a lot of people keep asking me, um, how did the Iraqi war start? Well, tell them. Many years ago, we sent a woman reporter out to Iraq to find out what was going on. And she reported back saying that the women walked five, five paces behind the men. So, okay then, and we sent her back uh, recently, and she reported back saying that these days the women are now walking five paces in front of the men. I said, there you go, it was all worth it, progress. I said, no, it's not progress, they're only walking in front of the men because of landmines. <laughs> But uh, I was in Downing Street the one day. Uh, who said I'm good? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've been on that marijuana. You should have got the spec savers, mate. <laughs> anyway, so I, I was in Downing Street, and that, that American guy, what's his name, Georgie Bush, phones me up and goes, Yo, Tony, and I can't do his voice either. <laughs> Yo, Tony, how many Iraqis does it take to change a light bulb? Well, I don't know, Georgie. George says, well, let's invade Iraq and find out then. <laughs> uh, but, uh, I don't know about you lot, but 
Well, these sorts of jokes is making my mind go blank. <laughs> uh, what these shoes are doing to me, uh? But, um, yeah, the Iraqi war, and then, um, I'm sinking fast. Um, oh, yes, we fi finally got, finally got our, uh, the, the man himself, old o Osama. And now, um, I know uh, Barack Obama was the first black president, and Jeremy Corbyn and Despicable May are forming the opposite Norma Batty and Campo in Lesser the Summer Wine. Well, Tom's not had one, but he has been the first ballot president to be tangoed. <laughs> uh, but, uh, thanks to this uh, bomb in Aston, uh, they were doing a clear up there. And they've actually found like, a video in one of the houses in Aston in the bomb damage. So I've got a, it was actually a video of Osama's uh, last video, so here we go. Bear with me, just play with yourselves a second. The bomb looks big in this. Ouch! Oh! And because the, uh, the tape has been damaged, we have had to use the voiceover of Frank Spencer to uh, go with the video. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. My name is Osama Bin Laden. And I, uh, and I'm a very nasty man, yes, I'm a very nasty man, a nasty man indeed. Mm. And I was, uh, I was hiding in your country, no, sorry, I wasn't hiding, I was residing. I was residing in a refuse uh, collection site, but because the women have gone on strike, I thought I'd better get tired out of there. Um, and anyway, then I, I went back to uh, Pakistan and I was living up in a red uh, stress. It was a very nice place, a very nice place indeed, it was. Mm. And anyway, this one night, these American infidels had come in. Mm. There wasn't nice people at all. No, 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 no. You know what they did? Huh? They gave me a bloody great big headache. They did. Mm, yes. Give me a load of harassment. Mm, a load of harassment. I must tell you, mm, I did have a little accident. Yes, I did do a whoopsie. Mm. But then somebody put a bullet through your head. You would do a whoopsie as well. Mm. Oh. Oh, I tell you what, my backside, it, mm, it is a nice smell. It smells like, just like a baby's nappy after you've eaten a dodgy curry. Oh, it's hot in there. Mm, anyway, yeah, since that little bit of trouble, that headache, I've been having a lot of wet dreams. Mm, yes, wet dreams indeed. I and mean, then since then, I've been eating a lot of crabs. I've been having that sinking feeling. Just like this act, I'm going down, 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 down. And I, I've been Lazy Lee, you've been fantastic. Thank you very much for your honeymoon! Yeah. 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 Lazy Lee, ladies and gentlemen! Yeah. 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 Hey, you don't get that down the glee, do you? <laughs>